So we're going to do something um, a little different today. Normally, we do an alphabet activity. Um, and as you see, our senior team passed us out. We all have a dictionary. Um, there's multiple kinds of dictionaries. Have you ever used a dictionary before? Yes. Okay. Um, when, have, when have you used a dictionary? Uh, Finds words that I don't know. Okay, to find a, a Okay, yeah, to find a word you don't know for a meaning. Were you on this one? Uh, me and my dad would read a dictionary. He found our names in there. So, yeah, sometimes we had it. Oh, so your name was actually in your dictionary. Okay, so in front of you, you have the dictionary. I've got this from the library. Um, and I'm also going to show you another example mm -hmm. of a dictionary. This one, if you can look. You've got um, the way your alphabet is set up. It's brought up with like the a. different letters. So we know that first initial letter is a. a. So in the dictionary, if you open up, what do you think your list of words are going to start with? The a. letter what? A. A. So what do you think is going to be at the very end of your dictionary? Z. Words with what? Z. Z. And in the middle, if you close it and you open it up, what do you think you're going to find in the middle? M N. Maybe M and N is where you're going to find words that start with M and N. Oh, okay. Okay, these are very, very old. Um, and this is, I brought this one in. This was the Webster's New Dictionary and a thesaurus. So a thesaurus shows you, um, it kind of tells you a different meaning of a word. So if you're looking for the word happy, what's another word for happy? It's going to give you a list of words like excited, overjoyed, um, things like that. There's a lot of pages. Do you see how big this is? Mm -hmm. So this is a dictionary and a thesaurus, which has given you a list of other words to use. So, so I'm going to bring that up. So that book has new dictionary words? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still a dictionary like you have it's as well. They're just a really big one as well. What is a thesaurus? And that's so the thesaurus is um, it's going to give you a synonym or an antonym of a word. So a word that means the same. Like I was just saying, if you were trying to find another word for the word happy, you can look in there, and it might say, you can say excited, overjoyed, enthusiastic, um, things like that. Or the word that's the opposite of happy would be sad, gloomy, yeah. things like that. Okay? Disappointed. Disappointed. I love that word. Okay. Yes. Um, when I was little, I thought this was like a reading book, but I believe I was this Oh, no, you thought they were reading books? They are definitely not reading books. All right, so I'm going to pass out a, a sheet of paper. This is what we're going to do really quickly for our alphabet activity. Um, looking at your dictionary, um, on your sheet of paper, I kind of gave you a few guide words. And we kind of talked about what is it and why do we use it, right? Um, we use it so we can look at meanings for words. So on your sheet of paper, you have something that looks like this. Yes. What do we write on these? Just in our top. Oh, I'm going to have this line at the bottom. Sure, on that line at the bottom is fine. Thank you. Because we know the first thing we do is always the same. We pick up our pencil and write our name. name. You got it. So on your paper like this, it looks something similar to mine. So pretend this is your dictionary. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I'm opening my book, and let's go. Let's see if we can find P. See where you can find, bless you, a P. All right, let's see if you can flip really quick. Okay, H. That's that. Let's say that P. And let's look to see if we can find the page that pig is going to start on. So we're at H. We have L. We can keep going. All right, I'm here at P, right? Yes. You can just open to me. But in pig, what's the next letter of pig? Uh, P what? I. I. So this is at P what? A. 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 We're going to flip till we see a P what? I. I. I'm going to let you flip. So you're at O after O is what? P. Oh, yeah. P. So you're at P A. If we're looking for P pig, we would be with P I. I. Pig. Oh. Okay, so we found the pit, the page here that pig must be on. See if you can go through and find your words. E I C P I E P I. Oh, there we go. P I 
Aegis. E I G. You see where it started? Okay. So pretend this is the same as in your book. Okay. We have pig. What's the last letter on our sheet? Gil. It's going to go like to the middle Bill. and the last. And that's not pill, it's uh, I consonant E. So it will be what? Pile. Pile. Okay. So looking at these words that you have on your sheet of paper, this is going to be our word we're going to look at. Mm -hmm. We want to know is this word going to be on this page that we're looking at? Is it going to be, no, before this page that we're on? Is it going to be on the exact same page or is it going to be on the page after? Okay, and we're going to do some of this together. All right, and you got your book there, but we can do this without having the book in front of us, right? What do we need to figure it out? I no. We need the what? Alphabet chart. An alphabet chart, okay? Because you remember when we alphabetize all of our words? We start with A, and then we go B, C, D. We have that order and that sequence. Let's look here. So if I'm starting with the word pig, P. I G. Okay, so think about before this page. Is it going to be on this page or is it going to be after this page? Let's look at this one. P I G E. So is it going to be on this page or is it going to be on this page? Like before, on it, or after? I want to keep this page. Oh, okay. So, like, you're trying to see, like, is the word pigeon, is it going to be before the word that pig is on? Or is it going to be on the exact same page that pig is on? Or is it going to be over on a different page? Oh, oh, okay. Does that make sense? And I know I kind of have it like set up a little weird, but so looking at pigeon, is pigeon going to come before pig? Let's see. E, P, I, I, G. Then I have something else. E. E. So if we have pig first, look here. What comes after pig? No, pigeon. Pigeon. Is it on the same page? Yes. Did it come before it? No, it is on this page. Why is the um one? Yeah, I get you have other two columns that we don't need. You can mark them out. All right, so let's look at this one. Because this is going to kind of start the second page. P I G G I S H, which is pig ish. That's going to start the next page. So look at this word, piggy. P I G G Y. Do you think it's going to be on this page with pig, or do you think it's going to be before it? On this page or yeah. after this page? I think it's going to be yeah. on this page. On the same page? Yes. Yes. Well, if I'm starting my next page at P I G G. Oh, no, it's going to be this. P I G G Y. I think it's going to be on after. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. 
P I. But our words what? P L. So. Yeah. So I is after. It's gonna be after this page. Yes, I get it. Yes, sir. Um. Why do you need to put that? Okay, come on. I'm gonna read something like that. Oh, that's not gonna be. This is gonna be, I take that back. This is gonna be on this I page. Like let's say this is page uh, one. It is a little difficult this way. And this, let's say this is going to be all of page. It's gonna be after this if you start page two. My bad. Look, we're doing this together. We're learning together. Look why I did. Look why I did. <laughs> Look, remember my rule mistakes are proof that we're trying? Yeah. We got it. Okay. So, a plaster is going to come after this page because L comes after I, right? Let's look at this one. Okay, that part. I let I. L. So it's gonna come. So P I G after after P I G P I L P I L. But that's an E, so it's gonna be after. Good job, because E goes before the O. Now I get it. Do you get it somewhere? Oh, sorry. Get it. Next word. P I L. Where that word came from, like the origin of the of this 
language, like in the Latin word, is it a Greek word? It also tells you, is that word going to be a noun? Is it going to be a verb? It's going to tell you, is it an adjective? Parts of speech. If you want to keep these books in here, yes, you may. Yes, you may. But I just need you to know when you're using a dictionary, you know, if you're looking for a word, you're putting it, looking for like kind of an alphabetical order. Okay, they start words with A, they end with words in Z. Okay, awesome job. So instead of doing the alphabet activity, that's what we want to talk about for the dictionary. So did you find this very helpful? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. So we're going to move on next to our reading next. You can close those books and just kind of move it to the What's side. I mean, close your dictionary books. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whee! And these are very, very old. Uh, I think I'm just about to watch I know, they're pretty old. Uh, so we are going to go through our decks. Yay! And review. You never put this in. It's a well, we didn't have a few lessons last week due to meetings and all of that jazz. But let's go through our decks that we know, okay? Okay. Oh. And then eventually I'm going to do our um, decks, the ones that we are very secure with. I got a question. Answer. Why not make a new um, little books? We're about to get to that. Oh. Right now we're on the letter. <laughs> Yarn, 
You, you okay? So you know the VHS tape is, yes. right? So even think about now on your TV, like Direct TV, you have a thing like TiVo where you can pause your TV, you can rewind your TV, so you can go back and rewatch something, right? Yes. And the movie is it's, it's not like hours, like colors like that, but it's black and white. Yes. Yeah. We have some black and white movies, black and white TV. Now we have all this HD and bright colors. Um, if you're going to recast, think about for a play, you're going to go watch Hamilton. If they're casting for that play, the musical, they may have to recast to cast some um, dancers or actors or performers again. Um, think about when you're sick and you go to the doctor and you need to get your medicine refilled, your prescription refilled. That means they need to fill it again. Or Miss Freeman loves my coffee and I want to refill, I need to what? Fill it again. Okay? So re is just gonna mean again. Okay. Um so if you rewind, you're gonna go back, like you're gonna back it up. If you're gonna refill, you're gonna do something again. Here we go. So let's practice a few words. Now you may open up your books for me. Um, you should have your green sticky note nearby. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's right here. Well, okay. we'll put it right here. Yeah. Okay. We're on lesson 54. What? On the map. Yeah. So you are about lesson... Okay. 105. Oh, no. No, we're just... Oh. 105. No, we didn't get this. Yeah, we started this the other day, but we didn't have time. We had the, um, the, the, no, not the meeting. We did the AR party where we did the pie contest. So, um, that's when we have, like, the race. So, let's look at number one on our words. So we know that re just means again, again or back. So if I'm looking here at number one, we're going to practice coding and reading some of these words. Remember, look at your syllable type. Our first one, we have that vowel and a closed syllable is short, but it was a brief. Vowel and an open accented syllable is long, coded with a macron. Vowel teams like E, E, O, O, you're going to code them like a vowel team. You have a vowel consonant E when the E is silent, it makes the vowel say its name. We also have those final stable syllables as well as a vowel R mm -hmm. uh, syllable type as well. But look in here, I'm going to box in prefix re. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I'm going to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, I'm gonna do that. I have a different word than you do, Bella. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.
Your next one? Practice? Restart. Oh, stop. Yes. You know where it is? Restart. Restart. All right, so Mara, I'm going to let you take number three. What? You went out there. Yeah, I did. Replay. No, I didn't. All right. Oh, no. So number three, yes, you did. I already took it in. Very nice. Okay. Very nice job. 
you've been practicing on the dividing syllables, let's keep going. Let's look at number two. Plots and suffix three. Divide a whole syllable is short. My word is preset. Preset. I need a preset. Ex the TV. Like stick it in. Oh no, before. Well, re, re would mean again. Oh, I was just mixing up with um, But yeah, the pre is just going to mean like before. So if you preset, um, if you have TV, like I like to preset my DVR and I want to hit record on a show before it comes on. So you can go ahead and preset for it to record. Does that make sense? So I like watching like Sunday night. Last night, I like to watch True Detective. Well, with the Super Bowl being on, I went ahead and preset my TV to record my show when it would come on. Oh, so it's a movie. Yeah, it's like a little series or a movie that I like to watch. Okay? So I can preset it to record. Um, lead number two, Watson prefix pre. My word is prepay. Prepay. Repay. All right, so looking at our time, let's go ahead and move on just a little bit. Coat and reasons. <coughs> yes. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and yes, look at some of our sentences. I'm going to turn the page. a few sentences here before we begin let's re review what we already know about our syllable types mm -hmm. remember of those six we have a vowel and a closed syllable it's short cut it with a three vowel in the open accented syllable is long cut it with a macron when we see a vowel t we're going to coat it like a vowel t we see a by itself we know it says a coat it with a tittle when we have a vowel consonant e we know that E is silent, and the vowel says its name. Coat it with a macron. Number five, when we have those final stable syllables, we know they're final because it's at the end of the word. Um, we're going to accent the syllable before it. And then vowel R, we're going to arc the vowel R combination. Okay? Whew. Let's look at number one. Let's do this one together. Look at my sentence. Do you want to code everything or only um, our derivatives everything. with those prefixes and suffix? Everything. You need everything? Okay. She I see a vowel and an open accent and syllables long. Code it with a macron. You know why I said only um, everything? Everything. Mm -hmm. so, so I can remember. So you can remember. Thank you. Okay. Well, look here. I'm going to box in R -E. prefix re, which means again. Okay. I also see what? E -D. A suffix ED. I see two adjacent letters. Again, about a close syllable is short. Credit with a three. So I can learn more the. <coughs> I see vowel consonant so, E. Suffix S. So we box in S? Yes, we saw that suffix S. Vowel and close syllable is short. Found a close syllable is short with two adjacent letters. Box in prefix three. My vowel is short. Circle our word the. I see a consonant e. Circle our word of. Our word the. No. Um, box in ER. E er. Er. Found a close syllable is short and two adjacent, two adjacent letters. Remember that ER, er mm -hmm. is going to be like, remember, one, two? So practice reading sentence number one to yourself. And we're going to read it out loud. Mm -hmm. 
When you're ready to read, touch your notes. Very nice. Everyone read. We recap the votes and we'll reprint the name of the winner. Nice job. Nice job. Um, let's look at number two. What's recap? Recount. Recount. Recap the votes. Like going back over to count them again. Kind of go through and count, count them again. Look at them again. <laughs> and they will reprint, need to print again who the name of the winner. Okay, number two. Go ahead and start coding in your book. I'll code up here. Search for number U. Box in prefix three. Short vowel. Two adjacent letters. We don't do an extra letters. We are not because it's not acting as a suffix here. Oh, so it's going to be three letters. Yeah, because if it's a suffix right here, I can take the S off and still have the word vote. The S here on this is just part of the word. <laughs> on this word, I'm going to bracket final stable syllable T L E. Oh. My vowel is short. Go to number three. Now the close syllable is short. <laughs> I see vowel T T E says E. Start to learn where you are. Wait, where are we? Oh, this one right on here. Five plus syllable is short. We have oh, combination, combination ER. Oh. The practice. Alright, put your nose in the ready. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, read. Three, you fill this bottle. Nice job. You are smooth. You are fluent. You read with expression. Nice job. Will you refill this bottle and feed your sister? Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and look at number three. We're going to move on. Bound is a little short. My vowel is short. WH. Mm -hmm. All right, remember the final Y and that one syllable word to make the I sound like fly. You're going to code it with that Vapron. Because it says I. No. Yeah. So it's not the same. Like in fly. Mix the last one. 
and the mix. So pre, remember, is just going to mean before, like a prefix. Re is going to be able to do something back or again, like rewind, retell, things like that. So let's get going. I'm sorry. I'm just going to do the back of this. We're just doing the first one. Two to four point one. <laughs> All right, so we have prefix, prefix, precook, precook, precut, precut, prepay, prepay, preset, preset. All right, so you preset, prefix, prepay, precook, pre, precut, precut, prefix, prepay, preset, precut. Very nice job. We have retail, retail, redid, redid, rerun, rerun, refund, refund, rebid, rebid. We did refund, retail, we did rebid, we did rebid, we run, run, rerun, we did refund, we did rerun. Very nice job. So look at some of those. If you're gonna retail, you're what? Gonna tell them. You're gonna tell again. Yes. Um, the words seem more smaller. They seem small. Last one they have like. Oh, there's, you just got the pre on it, the prefix on them. Um, so if re, you refund, you're going to fund them back again, give them their money back. Um, redid, mm -hmm. you're going to do something again. If I say I redid my living room, then I refixed my living room. Like I rearranged, I redecorated, I redid it. Um, meaning I did it again. And... We talked about prepay, meaning paying before. We talked about pre-cook, pre-cut, um, preset, prefix. Do you have any questions on any of those words? Mm -hmm. All right, so the last of the boxes, Arsenia, you take the first two. Samara, you take the last two. Prefix, preset, prepay, rerun. All right, I'm going to let you start that row one more time. Remember, they start with pre first. Oh. Prefix, pre, preset, prepay, rerun, 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 rebid, rebid, precook, retail, rebid, prepay, pay, preset. Nice job. Rerun, rebid, rerun, precut, retail, refund, precut, rebid. Nice job. Nice job. All right, I'm going to move into our spelling piece. Go ahead and quickly close your binder. You can get out your, um, just your little writing journal. Instead of when we do our spelling day, instead of doing all of the spelling day, I'm going to go through and do our, oh, I've done this. I'm going to do, um, just the ones that are going to be long vowels. Can we tell us some more that we have the color cubes now? Oh, yeah, we're going to. I'm going to go through and do all the ones that are long vowels. So go ahead and open up your um, book. Go ahead and make sure you have your pencil. I'm going to do long vowel sounds. Remember, you're going to look. Listen, echo, echo, I mean, name it and write it. Look, listen, echo, name, and write. Um, right here. Look, listen, echo, name it, and write it. So remember, we're not doing all of them. I'm shorting, in, shorting our deck to just the long vowel sounds which is that vowel, consonant, E, long vowel. Here we go. U. 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 Consonant. Yes. U. 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 Consonant, E. A Y I I I, I, I 
to the final position. Y. Remember Y in that final position. E. E. Oh, remember first one diagram. E. 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 Consonant E. Final position. Diagram E. E. What's another final position? E. It's called a high flow. Y. Go ahead and write the Y. Y. Very nice. I like how you throw that. And then O. O. O consonant E. Very nice. O consonant E. We're going to spot that one. Just move it to the side. Go ahead and get out your RCW pasta sound folders over. Um, the color tiles. Now, it says, Laura, you were absent. Our senior and I, we went ahead and set you up, girlfriend, with um, some color tiles. We have two. Two white. Yeah, so you'll now have two cell charts. So, and what I've done was I gave you two. We're going to attempt and practice. This way? Oh, yeah. So I still get the first one? Yes. We went ahead and made that for you. No. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so technically you still have two because you have your regular mouth pictures. But what I want us to do is I want us to start practicing with um, the color tiles. Okay? So Ms. Rima is going to do mine here with you. Are we using color tiles right now? Yes. We're going to start using color tiles. But I still have your big chart here so we can look at two in reference. Alright? So, it's not be hard. I'm going to have it up here too as we review. And we go through here. Okay? So the only difference is when you're looking at here with the color tiles, if I give you a sound, you're used to pulling that mouth picture that makes that sound, right? Mm -hmm. Here, your color tiles are going to represent those sounds, okay? Here, you have your um, brief, which is your short vowel, macron, long vowel, the same thing here. So looking at your chart, on your vowel chart, smiling vowel E, I, E, A, A, I, U, here in dark pink. Long vowel, short vowel, open vowel, ah, which is light pink. Going on round vowel, you have o, u, u, u. So, with your mega macrons, mega brains. Okay? The ones that are here in different colors are the same things as this combination. Um, e, r, o, r, er. R like star or like a fork. Okay? So I'm still leaving this up here as a visual. We're going to be working it together. Okay? So when we're looking at our sound chart, remember you're going to look, listen, echo, echo in your mirror and move those mouth pictures. Okay? Or move those color squares. You guys got it. It's a lot easier than what it looks, I promise. Okay? <coughs> so let's get to go. Alright? You ready? Let's do a few sounds and we'll make some words and we gotta move on because our next friend's awake on us. Show me. Here, your move is going to be 
be your what? Your B, which always represents a sound, a uh, smiling vowel, a uh, mm. Your next color palette is going to represent that sound. Mm. So, um, same thing here. Um, so I just want to tell you. Uh, no, not necessarily. You're just going to replace. So go ahead and replace. There's two here to kind of give you an order, like an idea of being in order. Maybe you just put that right back beside it. This right here is a representation, representation excuse me, of your vowel chart. So show me z, n, e, z, n, e. Short or long? Eh. Short. 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 It's like the same. Z but eh. It's the same, but it's different. Okay. And replace. It is the same. You're just not moving that actual mouth picture. You're just using these as the um, the sounds. All right. So we're gonna go in and try to make some words. Remember, this is um, your P A two. With the changes, you're going to look, listen, echo. You're going to unblend, move the color squares. This is where we're going to add, take away, change, switch, and repeat. Okay? So the first one, show me, is fat. What word? Fat. Stretch it. At. And let's make fat. Ready, go.
your short vowel sound before consonant, we're going to spell that pattern with a vowel constant. We know a vowel in a closed syllable is short. We code it with a three. When we hear a long vowel sound in an open accident syllable, we spell that sound with a vowel. A vowel in an open accident syllable is long. We code it with a macron. Macron. When we hear a sound made by vowel team, we're going to spell it with a vowel team. When we hear a long vowel sound before a consonant sound, we're going to spell that pattern with a vowel consonant E. A vowel and a vowel consonant E syllable is long, coded with a macron. Oh, here we go. When we hear a consonant sound before the sound O and a final unaccented syllable, we're going to spell that pattern with a consonant LE, like our final stable syllable. And then when we hear an R controlled vowel sound, we spell that pattern with a vowel R combination, and we're going to arc it. Next chart. When we spell these two syllable base words, look, listen, echo, unblend, move the mouth pictures. We're going to touch spell. We're going to divide, sorry, between the syllables. We're going to listen for the accent. Touch, spell, name, write, code, and read. I'm going to leave this chart out. Oh, there's a lot of directions. It is a lot of directions. You are right. No, again. And remember, this is our syllable division chart. Remember, we look for prefixes and suffixes when we code. We look for our two base words. Do we have any obvious coding? Look for your vowels. Find your pattern. Divide, accent, code, and read. I'm going to keep these up. Your first word. Okay, looking at our spelling practice, we have um, vowel and close syllable is short, coded with a three, vowel and open accent, I mean vowel consonant E, where the E say, makes the vowel say its name. And then don't forget the, um, the our combination ER. So, I'm going to do an easy word for us. We do this one together. Let's do the word ignite. What word? Ignite. Ignite. Let's sound it out. Ignite. Let's sound it ignite. 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 Let's make ignite. Ready? Looking at my chart, I can also divide these. Do I have a suffix and prefix? No. Do I have two compound words or two base words? No. Do I have any obvious coding with digraphs? No. So number four is find my vowel. I. 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 P is here. G or F, divide them. G is a consonant. N is a consonant, T is a consonant. Divide between my consonants. Accent my first syllable. 
and cope, I see an I consonant E. My E is silent. I say I. The spell is in the closed syllable. Put it with a three. My word is ignite. 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 It looks like the ignite spell appears to be ignite. All right, let's try one more. Let's do. Let's do confide. What word? Confide. Confide. Stretch it. On. I'd. Let's make it. I'm going to replace my mouth pictures for my other square. So confide. Ready? I'll be right with you. Okay, baby. This is a long lesson. We got a lot to get in. Happy. 
Um, because we have this one word as we were reading with those um, final stable syllables, remember they are final because they are at the end of the word. They're stable and they are not accented. And as I have my chart, um, and remember that was the introduction to those colored squares. I know that was your first time using those. So we're going to start using them the rest of this week. And I'm still going to keep this chart up here in case you need to look at it. Okay, do you have any questions about today? Or today's learning? No. All right, well, I'm sorry I can't be late. Please apologize to your teacher. It's like what It's really late. But um, I love you all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay?